everyone greetings for the day welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Agile Tester Certification in this tutorial we are getting started with the chapter 3 uh, we are done so far with two chapters and this is the third chapter and the last chapter of this particular uh, syllabus and the series we are generally looking at the next topic and the chapter of uh, Agile Certification that is Agile Testing Methods Techniques and the Tools so let's get see what we have in this particular tutorial is agile testing methodology so we internally have a lot of different approaches which can be used within the agile testing so let's get started with the very first topic of this particular section is test driven development acceptance test driven development and behavior driven development so you would have generally heard of tdd bdd and atdd which is the three different approaches for this particular uh, methodology that is agile so let's understand in more detail what we are talking about and how this is going to help you now when you talk about the test driven development generally the test driven development deals with creating test before the code unlike the traditional approaches where the codes are written first and then we try to test it and we find defects and the report and you know get it fixed and resolved so here in this case it is completely up other way around where the test will be first prepared and then the code will be uh, following that where the test will be determined based on the requirements uh, or specific inputs from the code or design and then the test would be executed as per the execution of course the test will fail because we do not have any code as of now and then the coding will start to make sure that the test passes and generally the practice involved is into unit testing where this uh, small programs are being written for each particular functionality so one after the other for each module you'll follow this principle where at the end once the code passes then of course you met the requirement so that's an easy way and a uh, very much simpler way to do the same practice and fulfill the requirements of the client on the other side when you talk about acceptance test driven development here the tests are prepared based on the acceptance criteria and it is much early prepared during the determination of uh, user stories and the uh, kind of uh, you know acceptance criteria when it is determined and it's not created alone which is will be done with coordination of the developers tester and business representative put together and then these tests will be again created and executed to meet the criteria where you can see that the specific tool support can also be useful to execute such tests often within the continuous integration process because when it have a lot of integrations happening then these uh, kind of tests and tool support can be very helpful so that's uh, another different approach which can be used in agile compared to tdd now the third one which we have here is behavior driven development generally this will be uh, again uh, the test will be driven from the behavior of the software which can be called as a slightly different than tdd that is uh, to test the system testing and make sure that everything is according to the entire application so our behavior comes into picture where uh, the test will be derived from there and tested exactly accordingly and of course we can also use the other supporting materials like the acceptance criteria user stories to uh, deal with that and here you can see that we have a, a good format to be followed given when and then where we say that given some initial context when an event occurs then ensure some outcome so we have certain principles to be followed during the behavior driven development that what is that the objective is following that how the event basically will happen and uh, what it happens about and then what is the expected outcome of the same so based on that we call it as a behavior driven approach which will be used in agile to determine the same so uh, of course uh, it involves again the collaborative approach of developer tester and the representative from the customer end which would help you to have a proper understanding of what tests are being prepared at the same time having a clarity about the acceptance of the product as well so team that's all from here in this tutorial this was a quick thing to be understood from the topic 13.1 and uh, we will be closing here this particular tutorial stay tuned for upcoming 
and uh, definitely there is a lot of things to come up and we have some more tutorials to go from this chapter so stay tuned for the upcoming tutorials till then keep learning keep exploring and keep understanding should you have any queries feel free to comment below i'll be there to assist you thanks for watching the video team happy learning